Hello, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. And we are in uh, near Dinant, visiting the castle of Crèvecoeur. Give us a little fact. Well, Crèvecoeur, you might have heard of the Heartbreak Hotel. This is the Heartbreak Castle. There was like a big battle against people of Liège. And there were three brave knights fighting valiantly. And their wives, they were watching from the castle. But our three heroes, they died. And the wives, they were like, well, then we will have to take up arms and they fought against the people of Liège but eventually also saw that they were going to lose so they locked themselves up in the keep of the castle of Crèvecoeur they donned white robes they climbed the tower the three wives held hands and without blinking an eye they jumped off the tower that's how the castle got its name Crèvecoeur meaning heartbreak beautiful <laughs> Good story. Let's uh, let's check what's real and what's not. <laughs> mm. Welcome to the first of three impressive Belgian castle ruins coming up in the following weeks. We start off at the castle of Crèvecoeur. It is located high up on a spur on the bank of the river Meuse in the town of bouvigne sur meuse near the city of Dinant. According to our sources, the origins of the castle go back to the Romans who had built a castrum at this location. It was later fortified in the 9th century. But it wasn't until the 12th century that the castle was transformed into a formidable fortress and the keep was built even later in 1321. The castle played an important part in the defence system of the town of Bouvigne and the county of Namur, facing Dinant and the Principality of Liège. In 1430, the castle was besieged by the forces from Liège. Around this time, the large hemispherical tower was added to the castle. During this siege, the attackers installed gunboats on the river to bombard the castle. They also built a forward fort on the opposite side of the river. The legend of the three wives of Crèvecoeur dates to this period. Thankfully, the castle would eventually survive the siege. The changes made in the 15th century gives the castle layout we see today. The large staircases either side of the keep, the gun loops and the vaulted cellar also all date from this time. Since the castle is following the rock, it has a fairly irregular layout. Visible today are the keep and the hemispherical tower as well as the remains of a curtain wall. Near the rear of the plateau would also have been a moat with drawbridge alongside more defensive bastions, though most of it has now disappeared. Sadly, the castle was besieged again in 1554 by troops of the French king Henri II. After the passing of the French army, the castle would see little use, even though it was restored between 1567 and 1580. It would afterwards be abandoned and fall into ruin.
Despite its abandoned state, the castle would see action one more time in 1940 when the castle, defended by French troops, was captured by the German army under command of General Rommel whilst crossing the Meuse. After the war, several restoration campaigns give us the site we have today. That was the castle of Kerkeur, here in uh, Belgium, Dinant. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, pretty nice, especially because it's free, you can walk around on your own. You've got nice plaques of inform information. Nice views as well. Yeah, I think it's time for the arbitrary subjective castle score. I'm gonna go for... Seven? I was thinking seven too. Seven. It's uh, fairly local to us. It's nice to visit once in a while. Uh, yeah. Cool little castle. Mm -hmm. Got anything to add to the code score? Oh, there's like some nice little details, like the corbeling yeah. up there. Yeah, <laughs> you can see it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Give us the YouTube stuff. If you have enjoyed watching this video and you would like to see more of this, castles and hikes and everything, like, comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. And if you have a question or a remark, please drop them down below. We react to every comment. Thank you so much and until next time. Bye! Bye.